What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is Dr. Hamis Tang and today we will be doing a full comparison video over here and of course to the whole purpose of this is to basically help you to decide whether you should upgrade your Galaxy device to the latest S23 Ultra or to get the S22 or the S21 Ultra. So we're going to check out a few of these key areas here which I think would help you to make your purchase decision. So yes, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So we're going to start off here with the prices on three of this phone. So yes, very obvious here that with the S21 Ultra, it's already been two years old. And from a one-year jump, normally the price drop, if you want to get it brand new, it would be at about the 200 to maybe up to $300 marks of uh, difference here. So if you want to get the S22 Ultra here in 2023, you can get it for about maybe... 1000 or 900 USD, which is about the 4000 ringgit mark here. For the S21 Ultra, it is very hard to get it brand new from the Samsung official stores, but if you can get one, I think it goes for about 3005 or something like that, or maybe even 3000. So it's about the $700 mark. So that's one thing to consider when, of course, making your purchase decision. And one thing you want to keep in mind here is that we're going to talk about the software updates because if you're going to buy a two year old phone, Samsung did promise about five years of security updates and of course four years of OS updates. So you're only left with two on the S21 Ultra, you're left with three on the S22 Ultra and you're left with the full four to five years with the S23 Ultra. So that's one thing to consider when you're you know, buying your new phone for yourself. You have to consider, yes, you may be getting a cheaper price, but of course, you're going to lose that years of updates if you're planning to keep the phone for a very long period. So that's one thing to consider. And of course, all three of them will be running at the current moment, One UI 5.1. Of course, like I mentioned, you have to keep in mind the longevity of these software updates. Next thing I want to talk about here is the build and design on all three of these phones. So as we can see, number one, I would give it to the S21 Ultra. It does have the most solid build in terms of the design and all that. But of course, if you talk about the durability materials, definitely the S23 is much better, followed by the S22 and this. That makes sense. But I do like the design here because you do have the curve on the sides here. Very comfortable in the hand compared to the more boxy design you're going to get with both of these two phones. But the S22 or sorry, the S23 Ultra does pull ahead because it does have the more squared edges on the sides here. So it's definitely easier to grip. It's very, very similar to the S21 Ultra. So in terms of this, I'm going to give this one, two, and three. The last one here because it's very curvy. So you're going to get a lot of accidental touches. Very hard to hold if you're not having a case. Other than that, the layout, button layouts are all very similar. You have your power button and volume rocker on the side. On the bottom here, you have your USB-C charging, your volume rockers. And of course, you have to keep in mind that the 22 and 23 Ultra does have the built-in stylus, whereas this one doesn't have. But I'm going to show you something here which is the case where you can buy a case normally with your S Pen attached there. It does make it a little bit wider, but actually if I compare it to these other two phones, it's actually about the same width. So that is also another thing to consider. You don't have a built-in stylus, but you can bypass it with a case like this. Yes, I know it's very yellow because I've been using it for a very long period of time. Okay, so next thing I'll talk about here, which will be a minor thing for all of you guys. So in terms of display, all of them are pretty similar. They do have your 120Hz AMOLED panel, LTPO3 here, LTPO2 and LTPO version 1. So in terms of efficiency, if you want to get really into it, definitely it's not dust to the cake. But to an average user, it doesn't really matter. You can see that the colors here look very, very similar. Very vibrant and very colorful and sharp. That's the main thing you guys want, right? But one thing to consider here is the brightness. So both of these two phones, the 22 and 23, they do have a maximum peak of uh, 1750 nits. Whereas this one here, 1500 nits. In Malaysia, where it gets very, very sunny during the day, all three of them perform really, really well. But I definitely do like these two options here because they do have that extra brightness feature to kind of just boost up the screen display here in case if you are under direct sunlight. But all in all, three of these displays works really, really fine. And if you talk about the speakers here, all three of them sound about the same. Definitely the S23 does feel a little bit louder and of course still remains very crispy and clear. But all in all, if you're going to watch it for your social media consumption, all three of them do perform really, really well in terms of the viewing experience. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the internal specs and this is where it gets pretty interesting. So here in Malaysia, up until the S21 Ultra, we normally get the Exynos model. So this one came with the 2100. 
Here was the first time we had the Snapdragon right off the box. So this one was the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and we have the 8 Gen 2. 12 gigs of RAM up to one terabyte of usage depending on which model you want to get. This is basically the amount of specs. Of course, here's the latest updated UFS 4 and LPDDR5X RAM as well. Whereas this one is a little bit slower, but it doesn't really make a lot of difference. What makes the most difference here is the battery performance. So over on the size here, all three of them are running your 5,000 milliamps of battery. But definitely, even with my short usage with the S23, because I use these two phones for about a year, so I know how the battery has been performing, you do get about a day with these uh, two phones here. You get about a day, but you still definitely would want to pump up the battery and just charge it up. But with the S23 Ultra, I'm really impressed with this. Like with my normal usage, I think I really find that the battery really kind of lasts much longer compared to these two phones. And even if you leave this phone ideal, I left it this phone ideal for like one to two hours and it only drains about 2%, which is amazing because these two phones, even if you don't use and you close up all the other apps, they too tend to drain about to five to 10%, which is very, very annoying. This one here definitely performs so much better in terms of the battery performance. So if you're using the this model here, the Exynos S21 Ultra, Definitely this one makes a lot of sense if you want to get the better battery performance. But of course, if you're using S22, there is still a big jump to the 23. So yes, in terms of battery, for me personally, this is why I'm leaning towards the S23 Ultra. And also one more thing to note is that when it comes to the USB-C charging, this one can support up to 45 watts on both of these two models, whereas this one can only support up to 25 watts. To be honest, for Samsung, the difference between 25 to 45 isn't that much, to be honest. So, to be honest, like I said, <laughs> I said it too many times. All in all, I think the charging on all three of them is about the same. They do have your wireless charging, your reverse wireless charging. So, not really something to really differentiate on them, but more of the build and design on three of these phones. So other than that, there are a lot of similarities between three of these phones. They have your face and fingerprint unlock, which works about the same on all three models. They work pretty fast and reliable. And also they do all three have the IP68 rating as well. So that's all the common features that they do have on three of these phones. Okay, so last thing over here on three of these phones that would definitely help you to make your purchase decision. And that is of course the camera. So both of these two here, the S21 and S22 Ultra, they use the 40 megapixel selfie shooter. Here is sort of downgraded to 12 megapixel, but it is an updated sensor. And of course, if we switch it on all the way to the back on all three of these phones, this is where it gets really, really interesting. Here we have two of the same models over here. We have the same 108 megapixel. We have two telephoto lenses, 10 megapixel, and also the ultra wide as well. With the S23 Ultra, the main lens has been bumped up all the way to 200 megapixel. They still do keep it with the telephoto lenses and also the ultra wide. But of course, with that main lens over here, you're gonna get a lot more details and colors, and of course, a better in terms camera experience in terms of just taking photos and videos. But that's of course just me talking. Let us just check out some photos and videos on three of these phones over here and see which one will come up on top.
Okay, so we are at the end of the video and of course the ultimate question is whether you should change it. To be honest, it's not a full mask to change. I mean, it does cost a lot. $1,200 to change your phone. For me, to be honest, like if you've been using these two phone models, you can keep it. But if you want the best of the best in terms of the camera and also the battery, this one here justifies it a lot. Like if you want to upgrade to the 22, it doesn't really make a lot of difference because it's about the same. But from the 21 to 23 or the 22 to 23, I think it is still a huge jump because of the battery and the cameras which I've mentioned. And of course, the, this, uh, the display as well and the design definitely makes it more comfortable in day-to-day -day usage. Of course, these are just my thoughts and my opinions. Do leave yours in the comment section down below and let me know what phone model you're using and if you're thinking of upgrading your phone. Of course, if you did enjoy this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook and here on YouTube at Dr. Hamistek. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamistek. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands.